Hey, hello, welcome back. In this one, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the methods that I use in learning English, especially in learning vocabulary, English vocabulary. You know, I didn't say words, English words. I said English vocabulary. Vocabulary is a lot more wide ranging than just single words, right? So, uh, without further ado, I will be sharing with you how and some of the methods that, of course, there are many methods, right? You can memorize words or phrases, uh, you can just listen to and, you know, learn as you go with the flow and you could <clears throat> go to classes where you can learn words uh, basically English right and uh, this is uh, the one that I'm gonna share with you is one of the methods that I use personally you know I like listening to podcasts I'm a podcast guy so I want to do podcasting myself in the future so I'm kind of learning and uh, so I'm gonna be sharing with you how I learn English vocabulary by uh, watching podcasts. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you some of the channels that I mostly listen to. Of course, number one, I can name off the top of my head some. Number one is Joe Rogan, uh, the Joe Rogan experience. And number two is, uh, I, I listen to Impulsive as well. And I listen to Jordan, PP, Jordan B. Peterson. And I listen to Ben Shapiro and uh, those American uh, commentators, American politician, American political commentators, right? And uh, Peterson, Jordan Peterson is Canadian, by the way. <clears throat> and I listen to Pierce Morgan, a, a fun one uh, for British accent, right? And I, I listen to Grace To You. Grace, Grace To You is a church, a church channel by John McArthur, I believe. I listen to Give Me An Answer by Cliff, Cliff Netto. Oh, <clears throat> okay, who else do I listen to? I have listened to many, but the ones that I regularly listen to are them. And uh, the channels that I watch are number one that was epic, you know, a prank channel. That was epic by Juan Gonzalez. And then uh, Big, Big Dose TV by Dawson. And um, who else do I watch? I watch, okay, let me see a little bit of Mr. Beast and the Steven Shapiro as well. Where's Steven Shapiro, Juan Gonzalez, and Big dogs, big dogs are basically their friends, so I watch all of them. And you know, I have to say, I have to say though, Juan is my favorite. Juan is, you know, he has got such an angelic voice, so confident. So we're gonna be watching a, a clip from, you know, a random clip from JRE, the Joe Rogan Experience, and I will be sharing with you how I learn vocabulary in the process. I have a blank space here where I'm gonna take notes. Cool, so I have the video ready and I have the blank space here ready for taking notes. All right, so let's begin then, let's get started. Okay, let's click on it. Do we have ad? Okay, we have ads. Uh, Joe, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to skip this one. Okay, anyway, let's watch for about uh, 10 seconds, right? Oh, I'll just answer. Which of these streaming sites have you, have you heard of? Uh, Prime Video? HBO Plus, Netflix, and I know all of them, but I just answer two. Okay. The Joe Rogan experience. Sean okay. Strickland, who continues to seem to, he seems to be sparring like any YouTuber or streamer that's prepared to get into the ring with him. Well, he beat up that kid who's a, a, a smaller than him streamer named Sneeko, which is not a good look. Um, mm -hmm. He beat the shit out of that guy. Okay. Uh, one phrase right there. He beat the shit out of that guy. Okay, I'm gonna write that out here. <clears throat> uh, to beat the shit <laughs> out of uh, someone, right? Basically to beat them down. Uh, but I was surprised actually that he didn't knock him out. Yeah. It's, I just don't know why he wanted to do that. It's, it's so easy for him to beat that guy up. <laughs> well, it was fair. what we were talking about before. Yeah, it's not fair. It's just it's all, not it's fair. like, it's not really, there were, I mean, the kid, I don't know what that kid thought. First of all, he's so silly for doing that, for agreeing to do that with Sean Strickland. Like, because look, you know that he's never going to have that hold back. If you agree to do that with Israel Adesanya, it is, Israel Adesanya will take care of you. I swear to God. He'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll pop you a little bit. He'll let you know that you're helpless. He, but he won't fuck you up. He'll okay, so he'll pop you. He'll pop, pop you a little bit. Pop you, you know, uh... A little bit, it just pop just means, you know, to touch slightly, to let you know that you don't have any defense, right? You can be touched at will. <clears throat> so that's one phrase right there. And uh, 
he'll smile and laugh and he'll hug you afterwards. You could spar with him. I guarantee you could spar with him. And then just touch your face just to let you know. Like, you would have been knocked out, but I just touched your face. Just going to touch you a little bit. Move around. You can't touch me. I touch you. Here's this faint, and then nah, it's coming at you. <laughs> and if he's not, if he's... I love, I love his action, by the way. <sighs> okay, so he's talking about Israel's uh, Adesanya's skill. Adesanya is a skill fighter. He's called Style Blender for a reason, right? So that's, I guess, what he's talking about here. Kicking, you're fucked. But even if he's just using his hands, if you're some, like, some streamer, he wouldn't hurt you. But Sean Strickland's mm -hmm. a different animal. Sean Strickland has... You know. Okay, he's as a different animal. In, in 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 martial arts, they call people who are, you know, absolute fighters. Let's say, <clears throat> absolute killers, are usually called animals. For example, Mike Tyson was uh, dubbed animal. You know, many many fighters. Uh, an animal just means you know a rough tough guy who you don't want to mess with. A rough animal. <laughs> he's got this fucking man code. And he, he believes code, yeah. in it. Like, you got to get your ass kicked every now and then. He spars all the time. Okay, so another one. Uh, even though I know them all, I'm going to uh, put them down here for the sake of the video. Uh, kick someone's ass basically means, you know, to school. And also, we have another word, school. To school them means basically, you, you can basically beat them at will that means you if you want to if you want to knock them down you want to know you can knock them down if you want to stop them you want to stop them if you want to just score points you can you're just fighting them at will you are touching them at will so spars constantly and if you agree to get in there with him you're essentially agreeing to l let him beat the fuck out of you because you don't really <laughs> have a chance like you have no chance but okay have no chance again right i know it's an easy one uh, to have a chance again uh, at something. For example, you're not gonna have. A, I'm not gonna have a chance at you know fighting against, uh, for example, professional fighters. Let's say zero chance. I'm not gonna have any chance at all. I'm gonna get knocked out in you know in a, in a matter of seconds. If I last ten seconds, that's that's gonna be a victory for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a chance, right? Everybody has chance, though, technically. But in Sean's defense, when he lost to Alex Pajeda, one of the first things he did was go to Connecticut. Oh, okay. So this was after Sean Strickland's loss to uh, Alex Pajeda. Oh, I thought it was right after his uh, victory over Adesanya. Yeah, he, he beat Adesanya, and then he lost. Uh, in his next fight, he lost to Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira. Pereira, Pereira, I don't know. A Brazilian guy. I mean, he's just an animal. He doesn't have any emotions, right? I mean, if you have, you, you might have seen some of his videos, you know, riding roller coaster when people are going crazy, going nuts. <gasps> he's like, he's unmoved. The guy is just crazy. The guy is just um, an animal. He's just an animal. Get to Glover Teixeira's gym where Alex trains and train with him. When we was wow. training with Alex Pajeda, he was light sparring. So this is fucking light. Watch, find the video of uh, Sean Strickland training with Alex Pajeda. Because he's smart. Because you can't, that wow. guy's not Sneeko. You can't just t tool wow. off. That guy already knocked you out. Like, Pajeda knocked him out in the first round. He hit him with a left hook and then a right hand as he was mm -hmm. going down. Like, Pajeda's a... Wow. You know, the mentality of fighters is different. It's just different. Imagine going to train with someone that just beat you, <laughs> that just beat you up, knocked you out. The mentality, I mean... Sean Strickland, uh, right after getting knocked out by Pajeda, he went to his gym and trained with him. <laughs> what the F? Wow. Monster. So he was with sparring with this monster. He's like, yeah, let's just fucking be friends. <laughs> let's just be friends, buddy. <laughs> there wasn't any of that Teach me code. your cheat codes. Exactly. Well, he's, he, and Pajeda teaches people, which is very interesting. You know, he's that confident in his ability. Okay, so but, that was it. Well, uh, how many phrases did we get? Like one, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah, the first is or beat the shit, beat the shit out of someone, right? To basically beat them up <clears throat> and pop you a little bit. Uh, an animal, animal in Myanmar, you can say Suni U, for example. Suni U is, oh, he's a real animal. He's such a tough guy, right? 
and kick someone's assments to basically to school them, right? School is basically, like I said, <clears throat> to beat someone at will, right? So they, they don't have a chance. Yeah. Okay, uh, to have a chance at something? Uh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, that's, um, <clears throat> that's basically how I learn vocabulary. One of the methods I learn vocabulary. So I hope you found something helpful in this video. If you did, please like and follow, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, still like and follow and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Pow, pow.